Hey, it's Pete from Divi Engine. Uh, this is a quick video for Divi Form Builder 1.1 update. There's loads that we've done, so I thought I'd just run through a video. Excuse the rawness of of the video again. I'm not as crisp as Roby, but uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to look on this screen over here because this is my bigger screen where I'm recording, uh, and my other camera's over there. So it's, yeah. So let's check it out. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to run through some of the changes. So the biggest change is we've added um, this folder to be form builder in here is our modules. So now everything is in a folder. So you, and we've also removed the the dot before each of the the, the modules. So that's the first change. Second change is we uh, so now if I add this. Uh, let's change it to so you can see the front end. Uh, okay, so let's add a uh, name field, for example. Um, okay, so we have a name field. Uh, there's a couple of different changes. Actually, we just dock this to the right. There's a couple of little changes we have here. Uh, okay, so first one, we've added some new fields. So I'll oh, get rid of my picture. Oh my word, this is all over the place, yeah. So we've added some new fields. The first one is a hidden field. Now this is quite good because um, let's say you want to know what, what page the form has been submitted on. Let's say you have in the theme builder, you can have uh, this hidden field that outputs the page name. And then, uh, so you can go um, page name, and then that won't show. As you can see, it's not showing. But on the email template, you can add that as the page name. So now you know, uh, I don't know, form submitted on and then that will be on this page. So that's handy if you got on like in the theme builder and you create a template for all the different pages. Could be the page URL or advanced custom field if you're using. So you can say, okay, I don't know, the property price. Uh, or custom text, so you can add different values for that hidden field. So that's the first thing, hidden field. Second thing we've added is uh, down here, content. Um, so let's say, um, yeah, so content. So there's different, there's different types. Uh, so you can have text, you can have code or you can have a Divi library. So text, here I can add some content. So this is some content. Um, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff. And then, uh, now if we add a, if we add a field below that, inputs, you can see how you can have some text. Um, and let me, actually, let me just, you just add another one and push it above. So you can see you can have some content inside of the different uh, the different inputs. So you can have text, you can have code. Code is much the same. You can add CSS, JavaScript, and in a future update, we're going to make it so that it can be conditional. So if you select a certain checkbox, for example, it'll execute this code, which will be quite exciting because you can do all sorts of stuff. But So this is in preparation for that. You can still add some CSS or JavaScript or Divi library layout. So you can create it in the Divi library and then assign it here. So we're quite excited about that because that allows you to create all kinds of different styles of contact forms, inserting in text, Divi library layouts, or even code. So that's uh, the the field. Okay, I'm just going to get up my change log so I'm so I'm aware of where we are. So the second thing is now we have the ability to add a icon on the input. So let's say we go in layout options, enable an icon on the input. So if you enable that, you can choose an icon and it can appear there. So I don't know, uh, name or user. So you could always go, I don't know, put the icon on there, change the color, and you can position it from the top. Right, and font size. 
So that's a one set we've added, and this goes quite in. This is quite useful with password fields. So let me just do this one. Uh, input password field. Now, when we in our enable icon for inputs, I can do an I and have it so it's hidden. And then I have a secondary icon, I, and it's showing. Save that, save that, save this. I'm going to have a little look on the front end. Just going to pause this for a second while it loads. Okay, so it's loaded. So you can see what I've done here. Here's our content before. Um, I have uh, this little thing over here. It comes from our last pass uh, Chrome extension. So just ignore that. But let's say I'm typing my password. If the user clicks on the eye icon, it reveals the password or hides it. So that's quite a good way of, um, of doing that. Uh, so password show hard, add icon, new field type, um, description. So now we also have in here, in layout options, we have add a description. So this uh, input is required so we can best help you. Okay, now we also have uh, input name, I don't know, input name is the title. So now we also have an option to uh, to have the, the label on top, input name, placeholder, and description. So you can have input, description, and placeholder for each form, which is quite exciting. Uh, we've also added an option in we've also fixed a couple of things and added option uh, when it comes to spam protection so google recapture so we have google recapture version 2 we have google recapture version 3 3 version 2 is visible so you'll see the checkbox version 3 can be invisible um, depending if like you are the spam if you spam me or not so version 2 you just add the site key version 3 you add the side key, secret key, and you can also change the score. We've also added one called Honeypot. So uh, what Honeypot does is it we we put a hidden field that if a spam bot fills out the hidden field, it does not submit the form because a human would not so would wouldn't see it, so they wouldn't input the value. So you can enable that or disable that. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, so we also have the email options. So now we have uh, so we have email to admin, or you can email to a custom form, a uh, send from a custom email. So you can change it, or it will send to a uh, to the admin email. The form title, so it the name is the form title or the sender or custom name. And the deep the, from email is the default admin, sender, or custom name. So, if this is coming to admin, you might want to change it to be the sender. So when you reply, it replies straight back to the sender. Email templates. Now you, you can also send reply to re recipients, and here you can add the email title and template as well for the recipient. We've also added in a option over here. When we have a select drop down, you can choose a placeholder. So you can have over here, um, yeah. So you can see, choose this or not. Uh, so yeah, so there's quite a lot. We've also changed, um, or we've also added in the date picker uh so if you i don't know let's go top date picker field here we can also you can also choose the language that you want it to be so that it will change depending on what language you use we've also added a setting over here uh, uh scroll down to form after resubmission so if the form is halfway down the page enable that it will scroll down after submission 
Uh, we've also fixed quite a few different options. Uh, the one is after submitting the form, if you reload the page, it'll then submit the form again. We fixed that. We fixed some radio uh, style options. Um, it now, I'm just going to try and find this layout that I was messing around with. It's not going to, it probably won't look the best because I was just messing around, but that's not it. Um, <laughs> simple form. Yeah, so I was just messing around with a few things, but you can see how I've made it so that the enable option has this button icon. And I think it looks quite neat actually, so you can kind of choose Radio 3 for example. Uh, so we fixed we we fixed a bit like quite a bit of uh, code with that, and a lot of the stuff in the Visual Builder has been fixed just to make it a bit more smoother and more um, yeah better for you all. So yeah, so there's there's quite a lot of changes right there, and um, yeah, we we're excited about it more. I think especially the different field types we've added and the different descriptions. Uh, Way what you can display the tar the input, sorry the title, the placeholder, and the description, and also inputting in text and Divi library layouts into the form is yeah it's, I think it's a great great addition. So yeah, so this is uh, version one point one. Uh, we're still working towards version two, which will have a multi step and loads more as well. So uh, I'm glad you're on this journey with us, and uh, hope you enjoy the updates. Have a great day.